Hey guys, it's the Mountain Man here, and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. In the last video, we finished up Rusty Bucket Bay, and in this video, uh, well, it isn't really clear where we're supposed to go next, because, uh, well, we kind of, it seems like we kind of hit a dead end, because, like, there aren't any new, like, passages, are there? Well, there actually are, so let me, let me show you, uh, this. Remember, we raised the water level, but uh, we didn't just raise it for this room. If we go back here, you remember there's another room with water for us to swim through. The water in this room uh, actually also went upwards. And that is actually where that jiggy spawned from the witch spit. The witch spitch? The witch switch in uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. Let's pick that up. That's almost every. Uh, Jiggy and Grunty's Lair. We're almost done with this game. Alright, so, first thing I want to do is, uh, if we break this thing here, and head up this tube, we have a switch right here, and I want to line it up, because a time limit, a timer's gonna appear. Uh, we don't want to go in there, because that will exit us back into that room where the giant grunty statue, you know, that we beat barged into the eyes from Freeze Easy Peak, you know what I mean. But uh, that'll reset this here timer because this here will let will make the water go up to a third level. And we have 60 seconds to make it back here. Because I meant to show you, but I guess I forgot. If we swim over here, back up on this side, there's actually another path that we can go down that we couldn't reach before. Or maybe I did show you and I just have, like, short-term memory loss, I don't know. Anyway, let's head up here. And if we go up here, hey, look at that! It's Cheeto! Baron Bird getting good at finding Cheeto, so another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck, so in the burning fire I'll chuck. Find Cheeto which won't? Koji must enter on Sandcastle floor and treasure trove is gold feathers. Alright, so that's the third and final Cheeto cheat code. So, you know, wave uh, goodbye to him or salute him like I did. Because we got our third and final code uh, gold feathers. So now... Uh, before we do that, I want to head back into that room because you saw that the, uh, the next note door was in there. Uh, when the little water rising cutscene showed us that. So let's go back up. Oh boy, do not get hit by this naval mine enemy. Jump up here. There we go. 640. We got almost 200 more than that. So let's head inside. And we got this room. And that's not the button. Yeah, we got one gold feather. So I guess we could use it to destroy this one. But the rest of them we got to dodge the old-fashioned way. Maybe I should have been more conservative with them. But, ow. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now we got this, uh, green grassy area. And th that guy's really fast, oh my god. Let's take care of him. We got another bull right here. I haven't seen a bull since way back in Mumbles Mountain. So we go up here. Oh, um, well, shoot, what do we do now? Uh, we go around the back. See, there's nothing, so what, what, what do we do? Well, uh, first off, you can see uh, Brentilda's over here. So let's talk to her. Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is flying radio controlled bats! This poor guy called Dirty Birdie was her first and only boyfriend! And when she was younger, Grunty used to have a mad vulture as a pet. You see, some of those things that I'm just like, well, what is she just like vultures? Like, what? who are you to judge? Anyway, 
Oh, uh, we got this little secret path here for us to go into, a little cave. And you can see, hey, look, there's a cauldron. And this cauldron, if you remember way back at the beginning of the game, that cauldron we activated in that pipe, and I said that we weren't going to have to worry about that till way later. Well, now is way later because we can use this shortcut to go pretty much close to the entrance of the of the entire the entirety of Grunty's lair to like near the very end of it. So that's rather useful. And it's actually going to be useful in just a second, you'll see. So let's oops. Go up here before so that before that bull gets to us. So we have enough uh, notes for that door, but we're not going to go there just yet. Let's see if we can go this way. Ignore that path for now. Because if we go over here, there's this switch with a little jiggy platform on it. And then we smash that. This thing will appear in this place. Well, where the heck is that place? It's just being confronted with place after place we don't know. I don't like stairs much in my lair. They always make me gasp for air. Oh, that's unfortunate. Somebody needs to lay off the... Uh, what? I don't know, whatever. Pickled onions. I don't know, something horrible. <laughs> Alright, so that, that leads us back into that water room. We can get a mumbo token from that. But now that we've done that... Uh, I actually want to jump back down into this cauldron that we just opened up. Because uh, both the, the next two locations we need to go to are actually right next to each other. So, yeah, let's take that guy out. Why not? And let's hop in this here pipe. There we go. And swim over here and we want to go over this waterfall and you remember this is actually the path to, this is the path to uh, what's it called treasure trove cove but if you turn to the left there's actually a little hole that you can swim through down here that's just been here the entire time <laughs> swim through it and that'll lead us to this here location where the painting to the to the the uh, ninth and final world is click clock wood so let's fill that in there we go click clock wood all right so next up let's go over here and talk to Brentilda Ugly Grunty's nickname was Hog Breath at Witch School. I also know that freshly burst boils is her favorite smell. That's awful. Oh. And the old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. Oh man, that's. I mean, you know, everybody's got a favorite color. I don't really care about that, but like burst boils. Ugh. My filthy bed gives me a rash. I never wash, I save my cash. Well, then you don't really have a right to complain about it giving you a rash, now do you? Anyway. Next up, uh, we, we're gonna head back into Treasure Trove Cove one last time for one last cheat. One last uh, equipment upgrade. Or I guess equipment capacity upgrade. Alright. Let's get this, why not? Head over here. Up here. And down here. And let's fill him with the butt egg one last time. Leaky patched up, now empty water for bear. Okay. Watch that guy blow up one last time. Jump down here one last time. <laughs> I think you get the picture. Alright, so you remember... 
It is gold feathers this time. And there we go. 20 gold feathers you get. New maximum 20 is. Gold feathers you may have 20, but bruises you'll still get plenty. Yeah, we'll see about that, Grunty. We're almost there. So anyway, let's wave goodbye to Treasure Trove Cove one last time. Goodbye. And going gonna go ahead and end off the video here. There we go. So like I say, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Let's take out this check this guy out first. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. And we will make our way back over to Click Clock Woods and see what there is to explore there. See ya!